Yes, hello everyone outside there that is following my lessons on BTN TV again. It is teacher Fred who is delivering the lesson just as usual for those who have been following us. They really remember what we are doing and they know what we have been doing and what we are still doing. Well, uh, today I want us to continue with our lesson in mathematics just as usual. Today we are going to look at how to order or ordering comparing integers using uh, less than or greater than or equal to. Right? Less than or greater than or equal to. That's what we are going to look at specifically today. When you look at our two words, when you, uh, let's look at these two words, when we talk about ordering. Ordering. What do we mean by ordering? Ordering. Meaning simple. When we say ordering, we talk of arranging. You end arrange from the smallest to the biggest. And when we come to ordering, in most cases, we always have these words whereby you find the word like ascending and descending orders. That is what we apply when this so much. Then when we come to the word comparing, when we talk, we, we talk about the word comparing, simply, we mean how can you compare this with this? Eh? We look at things in its quantity. For example, somebody brings cotton of a uh, cotton weighing one kilogram, then a stone weighing one kilogram. Then ask you to compare which one is heavier. Definitely. Some of you, you will end up by saying the stone is bigger. No. Or the stone is heavier. No. It is not the stone. When you compare, they have told you cotton is one kilogram. The stone is also one kilogram. Then they ask you, which one is heavier? Is it a stone which is heavier than cotton or cotton is heavier than a stone? You find out that very many people seeing cotton with uh, a large volume, then they prefer saying cotton is, is heavier than a stone. No, it isn't. If we are comparing the stone and the cotton, if, the, if cotton is measuring or weighing one kilogram, and a stone at the same time is also weighing one kilogram. Then it means they are equal. They are equal. Though, volume, uh, though when you look at the cotton, it will appear with too much kind of volume. Then a stone will, be, will appear somehow a little bit smaller. But how much it will appear smaller, and the cotton may appear to be big. What, what, what matters a lot is the weight. They are measuring or they are weighing the same. So they are equal. Then from there, I want us to continue our example after identifying that. We have got also signs here. We have this first sign, we have the second, we have, we have got three signs of compare. We have the first sign here that is less than followed by greater than. Then lastly equal to. Where do we use the word less? Where do we use the word less? This is where we apply the word less. There is, bring for a question and say, compare the two. A cow and a hen. Which one is heavier? A cow and a hen. Which one is heavier? Or a cow and a hen which one is less in terms of weight 
you realize that a hen measures less kilograms compared to a cow. A hen measures less kilograms compared to a cow. So you find out that since the hen is having less kilograms, the hen will take this side, then the cow will be here. Hence, a hen is less than a cow in terms of kilograms or in terms of weight. Then from there, we come to another sign. That is creator done. Creator done. Creator done. How do we use this sign creator done? Creator done. How do we use it? We are comparing two items. Let's compare a car and a bicycle. In terms of weight, in terms of weight, when you look at a bicycle and a car, which one do you think measures more kilograms? The one which has got more weight, a car and a bicycle, you realize that a car has got more kilograms compared to the bicycle. So if that is the case, what will happen? This is what will happen. We shall say a car is heavier or is greater than a bicycle. So a car will be inside here, then the bicycle will be outside. Meaning that what is outside is small, what is inside is big. Well, let's look at this. I want us to compare something else. We are now coming to the last, last one. I'm now coming to the last one. I want us to look at the last one. This sign here. I have got, I had one little one. I've divided it in two pieces. If I have divided into two pieces, I want us to see. I want us to compare these rulers in terms of length or centimeters. I want us to compare these in terms of length. Among the two rulers, let me call this one as ruler A, then this would be ruler B. Among the two rulers, which one is longer? They are here. I've divided them. Let me put them together. Then you compare for me. You tell me which one is longer. When you look at this, what do you notice? When you look at the two of them, you realize that they are having the same height. Still, if you look at the way how it is here, you realize it has moved from zero up to 50 centimeters. Again, when you look at the second ruler, this one here, it has also moved from zero up to 50 centimeters. So you cannot tell me this one is longer than this. And at the same time, you cannot tell me this one is longer than this. So which sign fits these two rulers if you are comparing them? We have got four signs. The first one is this one. That is less than. The second one is this one. That is greater than. The third one, the third one is equal to. Which sign fits this? Do you think these rulers are equal? Are they having equal height? Or one is longer than the other? 
Definitely when you put them together, you realize that the two rulers are equal. So, which signs do we use? We say ruler A, ruler B will be here. So, ruler A is equal to ruler B because they are the same in terms of height, in terms of uh, length, in terms of weight at the same time. Because this one is also measuring the same weight like this ruler here. Well, let's look at the first example. The first example, I was just explaining the signs less than, greater than, uh, or equal to, which you, I believe now you understand their meaning. What is outside this sign is supposed to be smaller than what is inside. What is outside here, this is smaller outside here, should be smaller than what is inside. Meaning that you open your sign to the biggest number or the biggest quantity. So when I look at this, I have my example one. I want us to compare this. We have got here negative three. We are comparing it with positive one. We are comparing it with positive one. I want you to put this in mind. When we are comparing integers, any number you have with a negative sign, that is a date. That is a date. They demand you. Somebody demands you something. That is negative. When we come to the positive, you have. What does it mean? If I say, take a friend, is that mean negative one million? What does it mean? Take a friend is having negative one million. Take a friend is having negative one million. What does it mean? It means me take a friend, somebody is demanding me a million. I say, teacher Fred has two millions. Teacher Fred has two million. Teacher Fred has two million. What does it mean? I have that money. No one demands me anything. But if I say, teacher Fred has negative two millions, negative two millions, it means teacher Fred is supposed or is demanded two millions by somebody or maybe by somebody, or maybe by somebody else. So we need to look at that so much. Whenever you see, whenever you are comparing a negative number and a positive number, just you know a positive number is bigger than a negative number. If I have one, positive one, and you have negative 20, the one with the positive one is better than you with negative 20. That's what you mean. If somebody has one car at home, somebody has one car at home, no one demands him. That one has positive one. He has one car. Then, for you at home, you have negative 20 cows. You have negative 20 cows. It means they demand you 20 cows. Who is on the advantage? The person who has one just, then you, you have negative 20. The person who has got one cow is better than you who is having negative 20 cows. Because for you with the 20 cows, you are ever under pressure. You are looking for ways how will you pay these 20 cows to the owner. 
But this one has his one cow. He has peace. He has got peace. But here with the negative 20, you don't have peace. You don't have peace at any point. So the person with the one cow is better than you. The person with the one cow can have enough time to sleep, everything. He can have enough time to rest. But you with the 20 cows, whom they are demanding 20 cows, they will demand you even when you go in the bed to sleep like this. You fail to sleep. You will fail to sleep because you know every time you are worried, what if he comes and demands me? Even when they give you what to eat, when you are eating the food while you are worried of 20 cows, somebody is demanding you. So a negative is always less than a positive number. So without explaining much here, when you look at M, let's say, Negative three, positive one. What do you think is the biggest number there? What do you think is the biggest number there? According to you who is now following us. I have got negative three. At the same time, I have positive one. Which one is the biggest number? Or which one is greater? Where do you want to go? You who is outside the following guys. Somebody to demand you three millions. You want to be in a debt of for example, you come to me, I say, James, I want to borrow you three millions. Then or if you don't want me to borrow you three millions. I want to give you one million. Free. It becomes yours. Positive. I don't demand you. But if I give you three, I will be demanding you those three millions. What do you do? Do you say you give me one million free? Or you say, you give me three millions, I will pay. Eh? Which one is creator? The person who is having one crown? And you whom they demand three cows, who is better, who is having peace at home? Eh? You realize that the one with one cow is better than you with three beds that they are demanding. So, positive one is greater than negative three. Or, negative three is less than positive one. What does it mean? Our mouth to the biggest number. And the biggest number is one. So I'll have to open this like this. Then I'll read it as negative three is less than positive one. If they have not given us these signs and they say compare using greater than and less than, then I'll say or another alternative. If they didn't say, use this, but they have given you ones, then I will say, negative three is less than is less than positive one. Is less than positive one. That is what I will do. Negative three is less than positive one. That is what is required and is what I would do. But since they said we use the signs or the symbols, they have already given us, then I will have to underline this with the symbol that has been given. But if I wasn't given, I would say negative three is less than positive happened that I wasn't given negative three. Then I would say, I mean, if, I, if it happened that I wasn't given those symbols, I would just come and say, negative three is less than positive one. Alright. Let's compare this as well. Let's compare this as well. Negative five 
and negative 3. Their challenges begin. Negative 5 and negative 3. Which one do you think is the biggest integer there? Remember now, let's say these are two people. These are two people. Here we have teacher Fred and the who is watching me. Help us to take this together. If we look at these integers critically, they are all negative integers, meaning that they, we, they demand all of us. They demand me who is teaching and you who is following my lesson. We are now demanded because we are now two people here. Me who is teaching, I'm here. You who is following, you are here. So, what does it mean? Teacher Fred is demanded how many millions? They demand him five millions. You who is watching Teacher Fred teaching right now, they demand you how many millions? Three millions. Who is better? Eh? Who is better? For me, they demand me five millions. For you, they demand you only three millions. Who is better? Mm -hmm. What do you think will be the answer? Look at that yourself. Me teach a friend who is teaching you. They are demanding me five millions. You who is following my lesson, they are demanding you three millions. All of us, we are in a debt. They demand you, they demand me at the same time. So if they demand you, um, if they demand me and they demand you, we are now all in negatives. Everyone is now having pressure. Everyone is having a stress. Right now we are like, no one can sleep. I don't sleep, you don't sleep. Why? Because they demand you, they demand me. So when, I was, when I'm thinking about how to pay my debt, you are also thinking how to pay your debt. <laughs> you look at that. However, when you come to the other side, you but for you, your debt is not big like for teacher friend. For me, my debt is bigger than yours. Okay? Meaning that for you who is uh, demanded three millions, you are better than me whom they demand five millions. Why do you think you are better than me? If God helps us and we get a chance of every person getting of every person getting three million, three million. If we let's say, since they demand you three million, they are also demanding me five million. Okay, then we sell our cars. You sell your car at three million. I also sell my car at three million. What will happen? For you when you pay, you will not have any debt. For me when I also pay my three million, still they will demanding me. So who is better? You are It is you because for you once you pay three millions, you are set free. For if I pay me three millions, they will still demand me more two millions. So you with only three millions, you are better than me teacher friend with five millions. Because when you pay three millions, ah, for you, you are now done with everything. Actually, even your movement will now change. You will be just like, ah, you are now the boss of the place. But in me, when I pay three millions, still they will demand me two millions. I cannot move free. No, I will still move like, hmm? Huh? But you who has already finished your three millions, you will be like, yeah, yeah. Huh? So look at that. There you realize that three millions, when somebody demands you three millions, it's better than demanding you five million. So I will say three million is better. It's greater than a negative five. You open the mouth to the number which is better. So at this thing, three millions, demanding me three million is better than demanding me five million. When you demand me five million, those are many problems. But when you demand me three millions, is better than 
five and is it three millions than five millions? But some of you, when you leave home and you go to parties, then they say, those who want three million is negative, come this side. Those who don't want any money, come this side. Then you find somebody running. <laughs> you go negative side. Why? You are calling problems. Go to zero. Go run to zero. Don't come to this negative three millions. Because when you go to negative three millions, you are calling problems. So for me, immediately you say, you want zero, run this way. You want ne uh, negative two millions, run this way. For me, I don't go this side, I go to zero. Then for you, from nowhere, you come. <laughs> you run into negative two millions. They will demand you, you will, have, you will not have peace. So those negatives, be careful. Be careful. When somebody says, I'm giving you negative five, another one says, I'm giving you negative one, they say you select one person, go to negative one. Then somebody says, I'm giving you negative 500 francs. Another person says, I'm giving you one million negative francs. Don't risk to go to one million. Run it to 500 francs. Because 500 francs, you can easily pay that problem or that debt by running to one million. One million, where will you get it very fast? You go somewhere, they say, this man has negative two cows. This man has ten negative cows. Go and select the number of cows you want. Then you run it to ten. Well, where? Don't run to negative ten. Because when you run to negative ten, it means they will demand you very many cows. Okay? You see negative twenty and negative two. Go to negative two is better than negative twenty. Instead of somebody demanding you twenty millions, it's better they demand you two millions. Because you can easily get two millions and pay than paying twenty millions. Be careful with those signs. Somebody says, I'm giving you zero. Then another one will call you, ah, ah, giving him zero. Come and I give you 500, 500 negative. Then you come, <laughs> where? Go to zero. Zero is greater than that 500. Because the 500 is negative, meaning that it's going to demand you. You are at home sleeping at night. Comes and wants, no, 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 no. I want my money. The one who went for zero, no one demands him. No one is demanding him. He can sleep up to the time he wants. But you with a negative, they will demand you, even if you eat, you will not get satisfied. Because before you take food like this, you remember, eh, they demand me 20 million. They demand me 20 million. Yet the other person called you for only 10 francs. Negative 10 francs. You refuse to go for 10. You went for 10 millions. Because getting, is it a chichel? A coin of 10 francs is easy. But getting 10 million francs negative is very hard. So, when we come to this, we shall say, a person whom they demand 3 million is better than a person whom they demand 5 million. That's why I'm opening the mouth that this person is better than this person. So, in actual sense, we shall say negative 5 is less than negative 3. My simple question to you is, here I have negative 10 millions. Here I have negative 10 millions. Here I have zero. Where do you go? Money. See, money. 10 millions. Here zero. 10 millions. 10. Negative 10 millions. Here. Cash. Negative 10 millions. Here. Here zero. Where do you go? Where do you go? You always watching us. Where do you go? Do you go to negative 10 million? 
All go to zero. Let me see those ones who want now money. How much do you want? Do you want a negative 10 million? Oh, I want zero. Uh huh. Tell me I'm listening to you. Yes. You have said you want negative 10. Where? Well, those are problems. Negative 10 is not good. The realm who wanted to zero, you are wise. Give yourself a tick and a club for yourself. Zero is better than negative 10 million. Because negative 10 million, they demand you. They wake you up at midnight. If you fail to pay, they will put you on chains and they arrest you. They will arrest you, they take you in the cell, prison. They imprison you for five years because you don't pay people's debt. Now this one has gone with the zero who will arrest him. You don't, demand, you don't demand me, I don't demand you. Who will arrest the other? No one. So for me, I go with nothing. For if you go with the negative 10 millions, where well, well, you are calling problems, don't go to negative 10 millions. Go to zero. Zero is created by me. negative 10 millions. Well, proceed to C. After comparing that, I'll have to underline this. As I underline this, I'll have to go to C. C, I have positive 800. We compare it with negative 1 million. Uh huh. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I'm on. Now you are going to select. I want you to select where you want to go. Where do you want? Who wants too much money? Now we are having the money. Here we have negative one million. Here we have only eight hundred. Maganane. Millionaire. Negative. <laughs> where do you go? Where do you want? You, you who is following us. I give you the alternatives. I select your side. The biggest side. Where are you going? You find the signs here. Remember I told you that you always open your mouth to the biggest. Where you run from is what we call greatest. So you always have to pack it and open your mouth seriously to the biggest number. And that biggest, biggest number is the number we are referring as to create that. So let's look at these two numbers. Here, you have only eight. Only, only eight. Eight hundred, yes, only. But when you come to this side, one million. At least. When you come and say, one million, negative. But you decide, only 800, which one is okay? Where do you go? Do you go to 800 only? Or do you go to one million, negative? Well, well, be careful when you are selecting the answer. Be careful when you are selecting the answer. Don't just select. Think twice. First reason. Why do you want to go with the 800? Or why do you want to go with the 1 million negative? Think twice. Think twice. Before you decide. Where are you supposed to go? And before you conclude. Ask yourself. Who if I go here? Do I have any pressure? No or oh yes? I don't know. You will tell me. Let's come here. If you come here, I get, 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 one million. Is it having pressure or it is not having pressure? Does it have, is it going to give you peace or it doesn't give you peace? Look at this. Why is it under select one? Where, where is your answer? Which one do you run to? Which one are you running to? The one you are running to must be created done. Must be the greatest number. Must be the best for you. For example, one million and two millions. Two millions are best for me. 
20 millions and 100 millions. I go for 100 millions. One cow and 20 cows. I go for 20 cows. But now here, we have 800. We have million, 1 million negative. Where do you go? Yes. When you look at this, you realize that 1 million is a negative. And any negative number is less than any positive number. Is less than any positive number. Meaning that if I have got my positive here, if I have positive 800 and a negative, I will not even waste my time because of this negative and because of this positive. Say so I go to the positive side. I will not waste time to go to the negative side. Okay? Then, from there, I want us to look at this. I have to underline this. I have to underline this. Then, I look at another example here. That was example one. This is example two. So we are looking at and comparing. We have looked at comparing here. So I want us to order this. So they arrange arrange the following arrange the following integers. In ascending and ascending order. Ascending and descending order. So I want us to see that we are going to look at how we can arrange the following integers in ascending and a descending order. Before I kick off with the, this arrangement, let's look at the word ascending. Ascending simply means arranging from the smallest to the biggest. Then the descending from the biggest to the smallest. So the first one we have negative two, zero, three, eight, 10, negative 5. I want us to arrange that in ascending order. So when we talk about ascending order, first of all, you have to look at these numbers here. These integers, we have got negative and positive. If we are arranging in ascending order, all negatives will be the first. Then positive integers will follow. And if that is the issue, then I will have to say, let me first arrange here the negatives. Negatives, we have negative 2, we have negative 5, we have 0, we have 3, we have 8, we have 10. Yes, we have 10. Now, after bringing it here, we have just brought this negative to the other side of the negative. Now, I want us to consider these negatives here. Which one do you think is the smallest? Remember I told you, negative one is bigger than negative five. So here, when you look at this, somebody whom they demand two millions, and somebody whom they demand five millions, who is having more problems? The one with the five million. So we start with the five million. So we shall say, ascending, ascending order. The one they demand, 5 million is the one with the problems. Then from there, we have this one. We have negative 8. Then from there, the person who doesn't have anything. The one who doesn't have anything is better than the person that demands 5 million. Then from there, we shall come to compare 3, 8, and 10. You realize that we shall fall with the 3. Then 
8, then 10. So, sum around the 5 millions is bad longer than a person who is demanded 2 millions. The one who is demanded 2 millions is bad longer than. Okay, in other words, the person whom they don't demand, who is having nothing, is better than the person they are demanding 2 millions, and is better than the person they are demanding 5 millions. And sometimes the person who has 2 millions, 3 millions, is better than all of this. The person who has 8 millions is better than all of these people. The person who has 10 millions is better than all of these people. <coughs> then from where we shall come and say descending order. Descending order. I'm arranging the same number in descending order. Descending order will be the opposite of descending order, beginning from the highest to the smallest. So the highest is 10, followed by 8, followed by 3, followed by 0, followed by negative 2, followed by negative 5. Alright, this is how we shall be comparing. So when you are comparing integers, what you need to put in consideration so much is the negative lines mostly. The negatives always confuses people. But a negative with a high digit is less than a negative with a low digit. For example, negative 5 is less or lower than, less than I mean. Negative 5 is less than negative 2. Don't say negative 2 is less than a negative 5. No, please. Somebody whom they demand 5 million is having more problems than a person they demand 2 million. Just like a person who is demanded 10 million is having more problems than a person whom they demand 5 million. Without wasting a lot of time, I would like to summarize my lesson from here. And as I summarize my lesson from here, keep this in mind.